Hey, what's up everybody out in YouTube world? It's another Thursday. Happy Thursday to all of you guys and gals out there. I appreciate everybody tuning in and checking out this video. Thank you. Thank you for sticking around this week. I hope everybody's had a productive, profitable, fun, exciting week and resale on eBay and Amazon and everywhere else that you guys sell at. Uh, I've had a good week. Our sales are up. We're getting a little rebound. We're starting to see this, the beginnings of that fourth quarter sales spike. So hopefully things keep climbing and climbing and climbing. Um, I mailed off the gift cards to the winners today. I know I'm a slacker. Uh, Evan and Jen, I'm sorry it took me a couple days, but I got them out today. Uh, and while I was at the post office, I ran into a fan of mine, um, a viewer, a subscriber, Pedro. Um, Pedro's wife, Jenny, was not with him, but hello, Jenny. Pedro asked me to shout you out, so how you doing, Jenny? Sorry I missed you. I did meet Pedro. Uh, he's not lying. He actually saw me out at the post office today. The selfie is not photoshopped. It's real. It's with me in the car with the i8. Uh, if you guys, the rest of you, want to check out that, my first fan selfie. Thank you, Pedro. Uh, it's on my Instagram and Twitter account. Um, you guys can check that out. It'll be on there after this video is up. But uh, that was kind of cool. Uh, if you guys see me out in town, if you see me in person, if you're in Florida or if I'm traveling, if you guys see me, please say hi. I love to meet you guys. It's awesome. It's so fun to, uh, to actually put faces to the names and to the user uh, IDs that I see on YouTube and Instagram and Twitter every day and Facebook. So if you definitely see me in person, please say hello. If you're coming to the Sunshine State, uh, to Florida, to the Tampa area or Central Florida, Orlando, please give me a shout out. Give me a heads up and I will definitely try my best to meet up with you. Uh, tomorrow I'm actually having lunch with another viewer and another fan of mine who uh, I uh, have locally to this area and uh, and we're going to talk a little business, a little personal, a little everything. So it's very cool to meet you guys. I don't mind saying hi, shaking your hand, pictures, whatever you guys want to do. You want to sit down and talk. You want to have lunch you want to go have a beer just hit me up i live in tampa so if you're anywhere near here please by all means i don't mind at all it's awesome to see you guys so with that being said we're gonna jump off to today's adventures i went to um the goodwill retail store and to a christian uh church thrift store sale and uh, i want to show you guys that there are some items you can buy that you don't need the Goodwill bin to make a profit on. I know a lot of you have said that you don't have Goodwill bins, you don't have Goodwill outlets. What kind of items can you buy from other stores that will make you good profits? The same 10, 15, you know, five to $15 profits on a piece of clothing that we can make when we buy from the Goodwill bin stores. So I'm gonna show you guys just a little sample of what I bought today and let you know that it is possible to make money without the Goodwill outlets and Goodwill bins. We love our Goodwill outlets, we love them. We make a lot of money from them. But we also have to expand, diversify, make our portfolio a variety of shopping places that we can get merchandise from. And those of us that don't have the Goodwill bins, I understand you need these tips. You need to know what to buy because you don't have outlet stores. So let's jump onto it and uh, I'll show you what I picked up today from these two stores. All right, so one of the first stores I went to, the Christian Thrift Store, they had this video game. It's PS2 and I know it's PS2 and it's a little older. But it was in really good shape. I have the cleaning machine if needed, but super good game. Everything was 50% off today. This was two bucks. I got it for a dollar, and it's currently selling low price on Amazon at eleven dollars. So bought it for a dollar, gonna sell it for eleven. Hopefully like a nine dollar net, eight, eight to nine dollar net. So good profit on this item. Toss that up. Uh, also at this store, um, this shirt was originally six dollars. I got it for three. It was half off. And this is one of our favorite brands. I don't know if you guys can see that. Tommy Bahama. And it is a button down men's shirt, Hawaiian style, little floral design, nice color blue. Uh, this is a large, so it's a pretty good size. Large. And we're going to put this up for $19.99. We're going to hopefully get between $15 and $18 for it. And we paid three dollars, so very good profit. Our net net in pocket on this should be about twelve, leaving us right around uh, you know nine bucks profit. So not so bad. Triple on our money. Spent three, we're gonna profit nine. Three times the money. We'll take that. So look for these button down shirts. Look for these Hawaiian shirts. Look for the Tommy Bahamas. Look for all that sort of thing. Another one from that store. Just giving you guys a little sample. This is Caribbean Joe, another brand that I buy a lot of. Usually I get it cheaper, but when we find it, this one was $8. I wish it would have been a little cheaper. Paid four for it. And it is a very nice, nice feeling Hawaiian blue shirt. Check out the buttons on this thing. Look at the quality that they made on this. If you guys can see that. Look at that. 
So, very nice shirt. We're going to list this one for 20 as well and hopefully get 16 to 18. Uh, we paid two extra, so we're into this one for, or we paid a dollar extra, so we're into this one for four instead of three. But still a nice eight or nine dollar profit on this shirt. So, you can see how two shirts that we spent, um, we spent, uh, what, three and four, we spent seven dollars on that we should be able to net sell for around 25 to 30 bucks. So we're going to list them for 40 and hopefully net around 25 to 30. So pretty good profit, plus the video game at 8 or $9 profit. Um, let's move on to some more stuff that we bought today. This is a Juicy Couture. Uh, and I'm going to show this is a girl's little hooded sweater. And it says, uh, Juicy Couture born in the glamorous USA there it is check that out 100% real it is girls medium size and we paid four dollars and 58 cents for this thing we're gonna list this for 20 bucks it's coming into winter season it's juicy couture it's nice it's a medium it's zip up it's got really good graphics no reason why I can't get 17 to 19 dollars for this thing close to 20 as possible and again 458 so if we get 17 or 18 out of it we're gonna net 12 we're gonna make an eight dollar profit on this so to buy things for three or four bucks and net an eight or nine dollar profit is perfect perfect margin it's what you want to do let's keep going oh two of these shirts you guys know these shirts these are the Columbia sportswear and I got two of the identical same shirts they're the PFG brand Columbia PFG always look for Columbia PFG these are button down polos these are larges I think these are large these might be extra large actually no these are actually mediums wow these are if you guys can see the built-in fishing gear shirts they're good for heat <coughs> for blocking the sun fishermen love this uh, outdoor guys love this these shirts are $19.99 all day long I sold two today for 17 bucks a piece well one for 15 and one for 17 I paid four dollars a piece for these four dollars and eighty or forty eight cents so got two of them eight dollars should sell for around uh, thirty five with a net of like twenty five so good good profit again on these eight dollar profit uh, another one Columbia this is Columbia um, the heat this is the sun protection Omni shade Omni shade is another brand of Columbia that you should look out for check this out it's that dry fit type material it's omni shade let me show you guys the tag so you can see what to look for Columbia sportswear sun protection omni shade I believe this is a large or extra large this is a large paid the same 448 and this is a 15 to 16 dollar sale with about 11 dollar net six to seven dollar profit easy on this maybe up to eight dollar profit on a four dollar you're doubling your money on that one so three shirts that cost us twelve dollars from that that we should sell for a net of about oh I don't know forty bucks for the three of them thirty five to forty dollars for the three of them so tripling your money yes you can make money at Goodwills you can make money at thrift stores you just have to know the brands and what to look for and you are gonna spend a little more money than what you're used to spending at the bin store but for those of you that don't have the bins or the outlets no sweat off your back because you're not used to buying things for that cheap anyway so you're used to paying three or four dollars for an item making seven eight bucks and you're starting to raise your average sale price and raise your sales for the month so always good things to do so make sure you look for those brands columbia juicy all that stuff look for things that jump out things that you can get 15 to 20 15 to 20 dollars for because if you're spending four we can't sell the item for 10 anymore when we're buying it for 50 cents or a dollar you can sell it for 10 but when you're buying it for four dollars you can't sell it for 10 you now have to sell it for 15 minimum up to 20 is better and if you can get 25 or something great maybe we can lot those two p pfg shirts together uh and get 35 40 dollars for the pair of them so we'll see what happens but yes guys it is possible to make money without goodwill outlets and goodwill bins that's a thrift store and goodwill retail i bought some other items just trying to give you guys a sample of what you can pick up when you're out shopping at these other stores all right, guys, so that's my little motivational video for those of you that don't have the Goodwill outlets and Goodwill bins. Get out there. Get to all your stores. You can still go out and spend a day. You're going to spend a little more money. Instead of spending $20 or $30 or $40, you might spend $80 or $100, but you can still triple your money and make two or 300 bucks in a day by going out there and really just spending the day sourcing, shopping, paying attention to what's on the shelves, what's on the racks, what the brands are, and which ones are selling and what season we're in. So make sure you pay attention to all the things I teach you, all the things everybody else teaches 
teaches you, all the other YouTubers or videos that you watch. Make sure you learn from us and make sure that you pay attention when you're in those stores to brands that you normally pass over or don't think second about or, or whatever it is. Make sure you grab them just because they're 3 or 4 or $5 doesn't mean that you can't sell them for 15 or 20 or even 25 and make a really good profit versus buying an item for a dollar and selling it for 10 I preach that and I love that item, you know, for a dollar, sell for 10 or 12 But if you can pick it up for 5 and sell for 20 I'm all about that as well. And that's what I'm trying to do a little bit more of to mix it in there. I know a lot of you have said that. So um, definitely, you know, keep your eyes out and go to those other stores. The Goodwill Bins are not the only place to source from. They are the best, but they're not the only place. So when you have other days, please, please go to the other stores and find good stuff to sell. Um, that's all I got for you guys tonight. Tomorrow is Friday. It's our favorite day of the week. It's Q&A Friday. Leave your questions, comments, concerns, rants, raves, whatever you got in the comments section. Message, email me. Or tomorrow in the live chat. It's going to be around 9.15 or so uh, tomorrow night. Eastern Standard Time will be live right here. If you want to join in on a live video, you just got to come to my channel and click on the video that says going live. Or you can go to my subscribe button over there. Do the little drop down menu and check the box to get all the notifications and you will get a notification when I go live via email. You can just click on that link and it will bring up the video and you'll be able to see us live and you'll be able to chat up there in the box, the little chat box. Everything will be taken care of for you. So make sure you join us tomorrow. I want to have 250 viewers if possible. I would love that. Thank you to everybody that has subscribed to the channel this week and everybody that is new. Welcome. Um, thanks to everybody that watches my videos, that leaves me comments, questions, which, of course, I'm always playing catch up on. I will get to your comment. I will get to your question, your email, your message. I will get to all of them, I promise you. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to go get some sleep. It's getting late. It's Thursday. I got to be ready for tomorrow. Friday's a big day for us. Shipping everything before the weekend. I'm going to go to the Ben store, I hope, and Q&A Friday with you guys. So long day. I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a wonderful night. Make some money tomorrow. And let's get back together tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll see you there. Good night, guys.